Greetings everyone, in this video I will briefly show you how to enhance an underexposed photo. I will do this in adjustment mode. Click on this little icon to show the original and the modified image side by side. The easiest and fastest way to correct the underexposed photo is to use the stone section. Click the auto calibration icon here on the magic wand. This will set the appropriate color tones with only one click. I am happy with the result. You can use other settings for comparing two images. With these four icons in the middle here, you can choose how the comparison should work. The first option is the side by side. The third icon places the two images vertically on top of each other. The second icon works a little differently. We see one image, but with a small slider we can see how the right side of the image changes while the left is the original image. The fourth icon does the same thing vertically. Switch back to the side by side view and let's see what we can change in the tone section. Exposure is the overall brightness of the image. The image is dark when exposure has low value and the photo is lighter when we increase the exposure value. Color contrast has to do with how colors interact with one another. We can increase the contrast to make an image more exciting and dramatic or decrease the contrast to make an image more ethereal and soft. The next section has five sliders. These are used to adjust the individual tones. Separate sliders allow you to set the brightness, brightest, bright, mid, dark and darkest tones. For example, if I modify the brightest points, we can follow the modification in the image and in the histogram. On the histogram, the region we are working with is marked with a transparent white bar. Try changing each tone and see how the brightness of the colors change. The next section is the tinge. With the clarity slider, we can set the contrast that focuses on the mid-tones of the image. It differs from sharpness because whereas increasing sharpness increases the contrast between dark and light tones, clarity increases the contrast within the middle tones of the image. The vibrance increases the intensity of the more muted colors and leaves the already well saturated colors alone. It saturates the parts of the photo that aren't that colorful. In contrast, the saturation affects the color intensity and enhances every color in an image. That's why we are able to create a black and white image with saturation. The last section is the dehaze tool. As the name denotes, the dehaze control allows users to adjust how fog, haze and mist appears in the image. The slider control allows you to either reduce the amount of haze or increase it, depending on which way you slide the controller. The image we are working on right now has no fog nor mist, but at high values you can see that the dehaze has been particularly useful in bringing out more details. At low dehaze values a fog-like effect appears. Keep in mind, however, that these settings are global throughout the image. If you only want to apply a dehaze on a certain surface, you need to use mask. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. And see you in the next time. Bye.